supposed to have some games. All right, working on the 79 Calais. It is the weekend of the 4th of July, or I should say it's Friday after the 4th of July. That makes it July 6th. And this is part one of the two-part process of the disassembly of the 79 Calais. This is the car that's getting the Olds 403. And this car is also getting the 342 Posi rear end. So obviously I got the car jacked up in the back and I'm pulling the factory open 256 rear so end. So I'm out starting of it. to unbolt the rear end, checking out the brakes. Fortunately, there is new brakes on this car because I don't think I've ever had the drums off of this thing since I've owned it. But it looks like it has new brakes. The white 78 has new wheel cylinders, so I'm going to be taking the wheel cylinders off that car. I'll be taking the brake shoes and hardware off of this car, and I have to put transfer that over to the rear end that's sitting in the garage because that doesn't have any brakes. I already ran into problem number one, of course. Stripped out shock mount bolt completely stripped out had to use the pickle fork to get behind it and put some pressure on it to get that off of there it's out and it was a messy job it's so hot outside check this out sweat and rust makes for a sticky combination you gotta love uh, northern cars you people who live out west and down south appreciate what you got Trust me. See this rusty mess? Fortunately, this car is not that bad. This rear end looks worse than it than the car really is, honestly. But the backing plates are rusted out. Oh wait, this one. This one's rotted out, you can see. So that's a part, ready to swap the brakes over and, and get it, the new one in. You know, and I had this, uh, I had this rear end built several years ago, I would say at least five to seven years ago, just waiting for this car. It's a seven and a half rear end with 28 spline, eight and a half Grand National axles. It has an Auburn limited slip carrier. There are the springs right there, all nice and colorful. It's got a 342 gear on it. You can see it says, I don't know if that'll come out, but it says, 12 to 41 so that comes out to a 342 ratio I pulled the cover off of it because when I had it done you know a lot of the, the uh, guys who re who rebuild these things they don't put a gasket on it they just put RTV and tighten it down but it was leaking when it was sitting here in my garage so I had it tipped up on the uh, jack stands like this aiming down so it doesn't leak all over the floor so I pulled the cover off of it and I got a new gasket for it right here on the bench so I'm gonna put a gasket on it gasket on it with some silicone or some RTV and that'll seal it up and it'll be ready to go in. Rear end is all in. <laughs> all in. Worst part of course is putting the brakes back together. <laughs> Looks good nice and painted underneath there. Posi. Tagged. So can the 260 spin these tires? <laughs> Without power brake. So now the 260 is still in it with the 342 Posi, so we'll see what it can do. Rear end is in. <laughs> 